Hey guys, welcome back to another video over here on the Chinese Zodiac and Horoscopes. Today we're going to be doing a reading for all you guys born in the year of the dog. So welcome back all my dog friends. How are we doing? Sorry for the late one again, but I think you're just getting used to it by now, aren't you? Sometimes it's on a Sunday, sometimes it's on a Saturday. Who knows when it will be? It's a mystery. We're just going to crack on with it. Throw these out. And see what we've got. So let's stop there. Let's take that one from the bottom. Let's take this one from the middle. Let's take that one from the top. What have we got? A white, black, white. Okay, so we've got these two positives here, which is always a good sign, but they're not always great because white isn't always all right, but it is good to have that positive perspective, that positive kind of silver lining going on whatever's going on things could be worse right now so this is looking quite good but like i say it's about the compatibility and straight away this is a great card for dog people we've got the tiger there and tigers and dogs are in the same affinity triangle we're going to do videos on your affinity triangle in the future so hit that subscribe button if you're interested um because as i say we'll do that at a later date but I'm feeling like there's some sort of, I don't know, romantic element here. There could be some kind of fancy, kind of, uh, I don't know, flirty type of thing going on. Maybe you've met somebody, maybe a, a spark's kind of been sparked. I'm feeling that there's some kind of um, emotional thing, romantic thing, lovey-dovey, ooh, lovers in the air, Cupid kind of thing going on. Potentially not. Maybe you're just feeling good about yourself. Maybe you're just feeling confident. Maybe you're just feeling like there is you know, um, I don't know, somebody in your life that you just really care about and and you want to appreciate them or show some appreciation for them. Essentially, you're in a marriage or you're, you know, your marriage has had a bit of an uplift and things are looking really good, you know. Um, potentially, you're just happy being single. You're on your own. Like I say, you're feeling confident. You're feeling good within yourself. Either way, this is something that is emotional. It's something that is pretty much, um, I want to say, in your life that you care about something that you consider basically you consider this you consider this person this thing it's something that is you know brings you joy makes you happy and you love it you care about it and i think that maybe not you know straight away off the off the get-go but you could be you could be very attached to this as time goes by and you could be very you know Puppy love, ooh, do, 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 you know, all romantic and stuff, and all lovey dovey dovey, because you're in that place, you're in a good place right now. Right now, you feel, I would say that you kind of feel more you, you're confident, there's a bit of a balance there where you're not running into things too quickly, you're taking your time to think about it, but you're not overthinking it. You're, you're being careful, but not too cautious, you're making great speed but there's no haste where it's all you know hurry 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 it's just you know everything's happened so fluently it's good you're in a good place but there's a hiccup what is that hiccup you need to think you need to slow down a little bit and consider a few things the dog and the ox do go well together but you need to move in that kind of ox way you need to slow it down because you might be moving too quickly here especially if it's a romantic element especially if you are meeting someone new slow down take your time there's no rush. Get to know that person, you know. Be more aware of, if it is new, of course, it's new for them as well. So you got you want to you 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 may want to you know talk about boundaries, setting a pace, or you know talk about these things and be communicating and be communicating and take things slower, slow down. That ox is slow and steady. Take the time to learn what you can. You know, there is there is a kind of, I suppose in some ways, an art to uh, trying to figure out a situation just by analysing it and thinking about it and looking at it. But you're quite capable as a dog to analyse a situation. In fact, you do it very well. And that is one of the ox's traits as well. So that's what you kind of need to do here. Because we're in this negative. So if you are feeling like, oh, something's feeling a little bit iffy, slow down and have a think about it. If you think, oh, things are moving a bit too fast here, slow down, have a think about it. You know, oh, am I on the right path here? Slow down, let's have a think about it. 
if I had anything you do for the next week, slow down and have a think about it. Because we don't know what's around the corner right now, do we? So we need to we need to be aware that there could be things that could trip us up, hurdles that we didn't think about or consider. Stop and think about it. Or don't you don't even have to stop. The ox isn't even about stopping. It's about taking it slow and steady. Taking it slow and steady and making sure that you've covered all your bases, covered all your angles, covered everything that is, you know, out there in the open that needs to protect in. So that as you move forward, you don't end up in a situation where, where, you're, where, where you're caught with your pants down. And I think right now, you're going to do that nicely. You're going to stop and you think it's just slow down. Slow down and think about it. Slow down and think about it. And as you do so, with that caution... It will push you into a nice little area. Oh, this is good because this is a catalytic card. This is catalyst. This is change. This is a shift that's going to push you forward through this. But it's also your soulmate card. It's a very compatible card for the dog. You have a soulmate connection. We'll be doing videos on this in the future. So hit that subscribe button. But this is a great card. That rabbit card means you're moving into something. And it is a bit too quickly. Slow down. Have a think about it. But... It's because the change is happening quickly as it moves forward, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, as long as you are thinking about which direction in which you're running. There's no point, as I say, there's no point uh, dwelling on it and overthinking things. You're thinking the right amount, and you're in this right, you're in this good place. It's just anything you're unsure about, just just slow down a little bit and think about it. But this is a this is a changeover card anyway, so you're going to shift. Things are going to shift, and it looks good. It looks good. I think right now, as, as, as you move forward, you're going to start getting the rewards from this. You're going to be able to establish a bit of trust. You're going to have some understanding. Even if it's just temporary, nothing can last forever. I'm not saying that you're going to meet your soulmate. I'm not saying that you're going to marry this person. I'm not going to say that you know this is all going to be all flowers, rainbows, and sunshine for ever and ever and ever till death do you part. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that as this week goes by, this 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 short period that we're looking at it will be good and you will establish some trust and some understanding and i think right now it's all about talking communicating getting to know someone chatting to them and and learning about them and that is then instigating change change changes in feelings changes in you know uh, that relationship going from stranger to acquaintance to friend to romantic interest and then full on, you know, lovers seeing each other, dates and intimate and then moving forward even further than that into engagements and marriages and children's and etc, etc, etc. But it all starts with one move, all, all starts with one word, one meeting, one chance encounter. And once that happens and you've thought about this and you think about it properly you're mindful of what's going on, you'll quickly shift over and start, you know, making making good pro progress with this. As long as if things don't feel right, you slow down and you think about it. You think about it and you weigh up the odds. You you take the you take the kind of uh, pros and the cons and you you try and figure it out. Try and make the best of that situation. The tiger's got your back here. That's very compatible with you incredibly. The rabbit is also compatible with you. And even the negative ox here isn't incompatible with you. It's just a little bit of a warning of, look, things might not be as they seem. The water might be deeper than you expected it. So dip your toe. If it is, let's have a think about it. And you'll come off better from this because you're not going to fall over or slip up as much as you would if you weren't paying attention to what you were doing. So that's actually relatively, I would say, a good a good hand. Anyways, we'll see, won't we, next week when we come back and do another reading for you guys born in the year of the dog. I'll be back for one last video today for the people born in the year of the pig. If you are there, I will see you there. If not, I'll see you next week when we return for you guys born in the year of the dog. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give us a like. I will see you next time. Love and peace.